All right, so before I start this video, I'm coming to India in the month of June. Uh, there's a Google form I have attached right here. There are instructions going to, you know, select which program you want to attend. I'm doing event for masters or if you want to study bachelors or if you're a job seeker. Go ahead and fill this form out. I'm coming to around 30 cities of India. You can go ahead and select your city if it's there in this. Also, you can go on to nikshala.com, go to personal sessions if you want to talk to me directly and discuss about your profile. Uh, you can go and book the appointment. Um, if you're looking for a solution for admissions, we have designed a lot of mentorship programs. So one of the you know recent ones what I'm seeing used by a lot of students now is the uh, one which is for 12 months program. And uh, these are the areas what it covers basically you get admission and visa support all right guys welcome back once again so i have chetan here with me uh, he is uh, currently studying masters in uh, automotive software engineering here from technical university of chemnitz before i talk anything further uh, what to expect from this video is one you will get to know how he applied and achieved admission in this particular university which includes documentation and everything apart from that we'll also talk about what subjects he's studying right now and uh, what is the scope of this particular field. Chitan, why don't you go ahead and give us your introduction, please. I'm from Nagpur, Maharashtra city. And then I did my bachelor's in computer science and engineering. And I'm graduated in 2018. Also, I did my ILTS in 2017. Mm -hmm. I got 7.5 pointer in that. My bachelor's degree had a pointer of 8. I started my applications from the seventh semester ending. From that, I got the admission in winter 2018 in Germany. I got the admission in automotive software engineering in TU Chemnitz. Did you do any internships during your study? Prior? Yeah, in my bachelor's, I did four internships in different companies because it is a mandatory uh, for us to get a degree in okay. computer science and engineering. Okay. So I did my internships in persistent uh, IT network software solution and pastor software solutions. So these are the companies I did uh, internship. Also, I got letter of recommendation from that wow. company. Okay, okay. Why Technical University of Chemnitz for this course? You could have done any something similar course uh, in any other university in Germany. Yeah, uh, as you know, Germany is famous for automation. And if you search for a specific automotive software engineering course in any portal, or in any university, you will not find that. Okay. This module is only provided by the TU Chemnitz. Oh. Yeah. And uh, in that module, if you look into it, you can find many automation related and different fields. Like I, as I told you, like artificial intelligence, machine learning, neurocomputing, which are already in that. Mm -hmm. So you will not find this much of variety in Got your it. course. Got it. So TU Chemnitz is the only one option for that. Is there any German requirement to get into this course? Uh, no, basically this is there is no German requirement. It's a English taught program. Yeah, it's a complete English uh, course. Right. And is there any tuition fees you are paying for this course? Uh, no, only the semester fees which is um, minor like 260 euros per semester. 260 euros multiplied by 4? Yeah, for 4 semester which is nearly cost around 80,000 rupees in Indian. <laughs> good, good. Uh, in, in his case, he already started the process to apply for German uh, university when he was already in his seventh semester, in, uh, sorry, end of seventh semester, beginning of eighth semester. Because eighth semester, by the time he would have graduated, it's already May, June, July. And the deadline for winter intake is in, the, in itself is in May or June, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, again, depends on the university to university. If you are someone who is finished your seventh semester, don't sit idle. Please start the work ASAP. Can you share what documents you collected uh, to apply for Uniasys? I mostly prepare my SOP because it takes more time, three to four months to prepare a proper SOP. Wow. And after that uh, SOP, I got LOR from university itself and my internships, interns, uh, professors and all, guiders and uh, also my project in charge so i got three uh, sops and lor from that also i pr uh, provide my bachelor's degree my 10th and 12th certificate bachelor thesis and also my extracurriculum certificate like uh, any computer courses i had done before and uh, many uh, sports activities or 
any social service certificates because in germany you if you have a sport certificates or they will more credit for your application so these are the documents required for application so you took all these documents and then uh, you applied into i started applica- into applying different for colleges. universities See, what i understand from all these list of documents is you took them mm-hmm. you uploaded on uh, uniassist yeah. and that's how you proceeded further right mm-hmm. Chetan, can you uh, give us a bit insight about what, how is this course structured and what subjects are you studying right now? Yeah, so my, uh, my course Automotive Software in, in Engineering is divided into the eight modules. Okay. Eight modules. There are six modules which are in theoretical based or lab based and two modules is an internship, mandatory internship mm-hmm. and a master thesis. Mm-hmm. So uh, it is totally based on 120 credits. From 120 credits, you have master thesis of 30 credits Mm -hmm. and 15 credits for the internship, which is mandatory. And uh, there are five models which you are having uh, different types of subjects. Uh, First is an automotive uh, software engineering module. In that, we have automation like FSV, uh, like formal specification and software development. Then we have uh, multi-core programming, computer vision, this type of subjects we have in that model. The second model is an embedded system. Mm -hmm. In that embedded system, we develop the machineries and code for that. So uh, in that uh, model, we have embedded system lab, which is more important in Germany. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also there are some labs like ASS, software platform from automotive systems, and also uh, one hardware called software code design. Mm -hmm. So these are the second model for the embedded system purpose. Third model is our uh, development for the development and design model okay. in that we have real time systems robotics and also network security mobile security which is related to the automation and fourth model is a computer science like informatics in informatics we have lot of subjects which is optional and which are some of mandatory so in that we have artificial intelligence machine learning neurocomputing then robotics computer graphics 1, 2, media encoding and video configurations, VHDL. So we have this type of modules and many more like others also they have but mostly these are the most important subjects we are related to automation. Fifth module is there which is a uh, compet- competence model like in that we have A1 and A2 German language and oh. we have four credits for that each level. Wow. So we don't need to prepare for before coming here. Like we have mandatory A1, A2 here. Wow. So this is the benefit for ASC mm-hmm. course. Also, uh, we have five grade seminar, which is completely research based. Mm-hmm. Uh, people like it is taken for three months or more than that. It is based on the what topics you choose. So that, that is the only five grade seminar. You just have to prepare a presentation on your research or submit the report. Mm-hmm. So that is the model and then 7th and 8th model is internship and master thesis. Till now I completed all my credits uh, till subjects and 5th model. Right now I am searching for internship mm-hmm. and master thesis. So that two models are remain for me. And it took just uh, 3 months, 3 semester or what uh, to get all the subjects clear. Right, right, right. Yeah. What kind of difficulties you think students can come across while studying this course? Mm, actually, people uh, think about this course like automotive software engineering. It is mostly dependent on the automation field or mechanical field. This kind of, I also believe before coming here, like when I see the modules, I was like shocked. These are, I don't know anything because I didn't study something related to this before because my co- bachelor's is in computer science. But this course is for all over departments like electrical, electronics, it's a core branch. Mm-hmm. So computer science people, electrical, electronics, they all can do this course because it is uh, depend on the electrical background also and development background also. So if you know the languages, development, and you have knowledge of C and C++, that is also fine for this course, you know. Wow. Okay. You don't need to be professional in any languages, right. but C, C++ and Python is required. Can you also uh, tell us what kind of bachelors are accepted to do uh, masters in automotive software? Basically, uh, automotive uh, software engineering course is a core branch. So you can uh, like many uh, branches like electrical engineering, 
కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ అండ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ టెక్నాలజీ దెన్ ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ కమ్యూనికేషన్ సిస్టమ్ ఎలక్ట్రానిక్స్ అండ్ టెలికమ్యూనికేషన్ సిస్టమ్ దీస్ ఆల్ బ్రాంచెస్ క్యాన్ అప్లై ఫర్ దిస్ కోర్స్ and okay. it's very easy for them to uh, get admit in mm-hmm. this university you are almost at the verge of completing your studies yes. what kind of jobs are you looking at actually there are a lot of jobs if you uh, uh, like look at my course there are so many departments in that like machine learning automa- artificial intelligence automations and uh, robotics so the, in germany there are a lot of companies working on different fields if you have interest in any particular field in this course so you can go through that mm-hmm. there are a lot of com- uh, companies which are providing the opportunities for students so right now i'm searching for an internship mm-hmm. so i'm searching for artificial intelligence and robotics especially i am preparing my profile according to that and there are a lot of companies which are providing this kind of uh, level like mm-hmm. for internships for jobs they are uh, doing work research on this field good so in future like there are many more jobs for this and in germany for automation is the best one uh, thank you so much for coming on my channel i hope it gave you insight about the course module he went on to talk about the whole eight modules right yes. eight modules what do you have go ahead and share this video and uh, Yeah if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button and I'll see you guys next time bye bye